this problem is a very basic understanding on partnership. Uh, so whenever there's a certain investments done for a certain time period, so the time period should also be accounted for. So if you have a certain am- a person has blocked a certain amount uh, for a certain time period, the time period for which he has blocked that amount should also be accounted for, right? So we have discussed in details in class as well. Um, but this is the basic principle. So investment ratio to time ratio is profit ratio, as long as the investments do not change and the time period is throughout or something like that. So uh, in this case, uh, we have these three individuals, Manan, Naman, and Omar. Um, the investments are in the ratio A is to B is to C, and the time ratio, time are in the time periods rather that they're making the investment for, and the ratio B is to C is to A. So you can simply multiply ratios whenever the actual things are multiplied. Uh, to get the profit ratio as what AB is to BC is to CA, right? Uh, and uh, this is the profit ratio and there is something additionally mentioned that uh, the total ratio of profit shares of Manan and Naman is equal to the ratio of the profit shares of Naman and Omar. So uh, these two total is equal to these two total. So we are just simply treating that these are the values. So essentially what we are, sorry, the, uh, not the total, right? The ratio, sorry, my bad. So the ratio of the Manan and Naman is equal to the ratio of the Naman and Omar, right? So what we know is AB by BC, this ratio is equal to this BC by C, right? So you can see that these goes off and uh, you can evaluate it as so. Uh, now I hope, uh, you are aware of what is geometric mean. Um, geometric mean is basically if you have, if, if, if you have mentioned that uh, on particular number is uh, the geometric mean of two other numbers. So basically um, the basic principle is that uh, these three numbers will form uh, a GP series, uh, given that uh, the geometric mean will be the middle number. So something like this, in this case, A square equal to BC. So what you have is A is equal to root over BC. So this A is the geometric mean of B and C. So that is the basic principle of geometric mean. So the answer in this case is option A. So it's pretty simple question. All you have to know is two basic ideas, that's it.